Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Andre Yun, a CEO of Makina Rocks, an industrial AI company. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about machine learning operations for manufacturing, uh, from AI initiative to impact. So I'm going to talk about why the adoption, in, uh, adoption of AI in manufacturing is uh, so slow, and uh, what is MLOps, and why is it important. So the pace of AI advancement is accelerating, as you all know. If you look at the development in the past few years, uh, it is outpacing the previous 10 years. So if you look at the size of neural network in language model, for example, it's growing 10 times every year. And this scaling up of neural networks, there's a new capability of learnings emerge. So benefiting from this kind of um, development, now we see a lot of interesting AI application. For example, uh, this one is from uh, DeepMind Google, uh, AlphaCode, that given a uh, coding problem, it outputs the result. Uh, output a solution in different uh, computer coding language. It's pretty impressive, huh? So we know that AI will play an important role in, in the future of manufacturing, and uh, pretty sure that it, 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 is, it will be very important for Industry 4.0 as well. Uh, it will be used to improve productivity, quality, and efficiency. However, if you look at the latest survey, uh, the rate of adoption is, is very low. Only 9% of all the uh, companies' AI initiative have uh, succeeded. Why is that? There can be many reasons. Um, Professor Andrew Ang, uh, AI vis visionary, um, in his interview recently talked about this. Uh, in the consumer software internet, we could train a handful of machine learning model to serve a billion users. Whereas in manufacturing, you might have 10,000 manufacturers building 10,000 custom AI models. What does that mean? So for example, for translation, you build a single language model that can serve millions of users. But in case of defect detections, uh, whether you detect um, defect in a car part or de defect in a smartphone screen, you would have a very different AI approach. And certainly you will use very different data. So customized AI approach is necessary in, in the case of AI in manufacturing. So comparing AI in consumer world or uh, software industries, uh, it is more general purpose, but in industrial AI, uh, AI used in manufacturing, it is uh, more industry specific. In addition, um, there's millions of user data from the activities of people on the internet that you can use uh, to train your AI models. But in industrial case, there, there's always a challenge with small data. For example, for anomaly detection, you have only few anomaly samples that you can classify normal and abnormal. Also, often there's a, um, in consumer, in tech company, there's a dedicated AI team to do that. But manufacturing company, it is, it is very, uh, it, it is the luxury of having such a team dedicated for your AI uh, adoption. So how can we overcome this challenge? Before I answer the question, does anyone know, uh, hear about, heard about uh, Boyd's law of iteration? Probably not. Uh, Boyd, um, who was a pilot and aircraft designer, uh, found a very interesting fact from the dogfighting between uh, MiG and F-86. MiG, considered to be superior in every aspect, is defeated by F-86 nine out of 10 times. And he analyzed this and he found that the key was in the steering wheel. So in the dog fighting, what's important is to observe, understand the situation, plan, and act quickly is, is very important. But in case of MiG, 
because it requires more physical energy to do the steering, it was very hard to do the iterations. So Boyd concluded with this principle, uh, speed of iteration beats speed of qual uh, quality. This principle has a very important place in, in different fields. Uh, for example, in sports training or in software development, uh, to be more specific, agile development. It is a very pr important principle in that area. It is very similar in machine learning development as well. So it is, we need to look at the entire process of machine learning development and operation. So you start with the problem definition, and then you do the data collection and analysis, and modelings, and finally deployment and operations. Our expectation is that this can be done step by step very linearly. However, in reality, you need to go back to the previous stage. For example, you need to redefine the problem when you realize there is something uh, to be changed while you're doing data collection and analysis. Or uh, you need to go back to data collection when you realize that you don't have sufficient data or label to do the machine learning modeling, and so on. So this machine learning life cycle, the entire process is highly, highly nonlinear with uh, frequent uh, feedback loops. And the key challenge is that uh, development environment and operational environments are disconnected. And the reason is that operational environment is much, much more complicated than the development environment. So our expectation of AI system consists only of machine learning model code. However, reality is that you need data collection, data verification, resource management, configurations, and so on. It is much more uh, needed. So Google pointed out in their paper in 2015, if you don't have a proper software configure uh, for the operation, it will be very likely that you, you will pay a lot of um, maintenance costs to maintain this AI system. So these days, uh, a lot of efforts are being made to make this machine learning operation and development systematic. And MLOps, uh, an abbreviation of machine learning operation aims to maintain and operate reliably, machine learning model reliably and efficiently. It basically combines experimentation, develop, application development, and operation. So, uh, Makina Rocks is, uh, is a small company compared to many uh, companies here. So, we have uh, 70 members in Seoul, South Korea, and Silicon Valley in the US. Uh, we raised uh, 12 million USD in 2020 from various investors uh, worldwide. Uh, we are selected um, one of the top 100 tech pioneers by uh, World Economic Forum last year, the only AI company from South Korea. And we've been contributing to uh, more than six global open source projects that are related to machine learning and machine learning operation. And uh, there is more than a thousand thousand AI model currently being served for different industrial AI application uh, at, at this very moment too. So to overcome the challenges of machine learning operation, so we built uh, two products, Link and Runway. Link is an AI and ML modeling tool, and Runway is uh, operational platforms. Uh, Link is built based on Jupyter Notebook, uh, data scientist's most beloved uh, tool. So what it does is essentially you can do a pipelining within the Jupyter Notebook. So you can build a pipeline that can be shared with, with your colleagues, uh, that can be cached to accelerate the execution and model training, and that can be deployed in Kubernetes environments. And Runway makes a complicated process of model deployment, monitorings, and uh, retraining, uh, very simple. So this is um, machine learning infrastructure that is necessary, uh, categorized into three. And as you can see, there are a lot of options. And unless you have uh, machine, le machine learning operations expertise in-house, it will be very hard to 
uh, build, um, uh, ha have uh, right um, software infrastructure for your team. But uh, Runway is, is sort of an all-in-one package that you can easily use to uh, operate your machine learning models. So what are the use cases in manufacturing? So first use case is anomaly detection of uh, semiconductor equipment. As you, as you, some of you know that um, semiconductor fabrication is, is run 24 seven. So unexpected downtime can have a huge loss. A uh, very conservative estimate of, of this particular equipment is 600K US dollar uh, every year uh, that can be uh, caused by unexpected downtime. So we build AI model that can predict its failure 12 to 24 hours ahead so that people can react fast and to minimize the unexpected downtime. And we are combining this with, uh, with our machine learning operation system. So uh, automatic update of model is possible to maintain its performance against change in recipe, change in uh, replacement, and etc. Finally, uh, performance can be improved with more data because we have this operational system that supports it. AI in manufacturing is not only used for improving productivities, but it can also be used to improve your product, product itself. So this is, a, um, this is energy management system in a car, um, better known as HVAC system. And nowadays with, the, uh, with electrical vehicle, energy efficiency of, of such a system is, is more important because energy saving can be used to increase the mileage of your electric vehicle. So we have developed a deep reinforcement learning based uh, control algorithm and that was proven to increase the energy efficiency up to 25% um, compared to conventional algorithm known as PID. This kind of technology has a huge impact. So for example, if this technology can be applied to uh, 4 million electric vehicles that are being shipped every year, it can, uh, it can increase 400 million kilometers of more driving range. So it, it, it has a huge impact for your product, but also for uh, sustainability. At Makina Rocks, we have, um, we have a different AI success cases from chip design optimization to uh, remaining useful time prediction of lithium ion battery in electric vehicle. And we have proven uh, with, by using our machine learning operation product um, that we have significantly improved the time uh, required for experiment uh, from six months to four weeks, deployment from 10 months to eight weeks, and improvement cycle from monthly to uh, manually. So uh, to conclude, how to accelerate, accelerate time to value for AI in manufacturing? Um, AI adoption in manufacturing is very challenging, but I want to make sure that we want to, we want to make sure that we have a right in machine learning infrastructure so that we can make the iteration as efficiently as possible. Iteration of machine learning experimentation, deployment, and operation. So yeah, there's a wide range of AI success case. So if you want to know more about our um, use cases, please, be, please visit our website. Um, the URL is at the bottom of, uh, of the slide um, embedded in, in the QR code. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Andre, for this presentation. Are there questions in the audience? Just raise your hand, and we'll be with you with a microphone. Um, in the meanwhile, I loved, um, you know, in the beginning, you started with uh, the MIG example of the dogfights and the fighter jets. I think I just learned last week um, that we just reached the moment where a machine learning or AI pilot beats a human pilot in any given scenario in a dogfight. Mm -hmm which also proves your point on the one hand, because I guess for an AI pilot, it's just more easier. He has so many more iterations in any That's given correct. scenario. That's correct. Um, but also proves the point of just introducing AI and machine learning um, in order to speed up processes and making more intelligent decisions. Um, well, 
Are there questions in the audience in the meantime? And is there a question online? If so, just type fast and I'll have it here on my iPad. No, so far not. Um, oh. What would be the first steps in order to sell up really um, ML ops in your company? Like, um, what's the best first step you could take next week if you say, okay, like the, like the presentation, Andre, but how do I go about it? What's the literal first step? Oh, uh, just visit our website and yeah. find out what are there and if whether it, it, um, it fits for your needs and then contact us. We are, right, well, are here to help you. Yeah. Use the opportunity. The CEO of Makina Rocks himself is here, so make sure to talk to him while he's next to stage. Um, and maybe you can discuss the context-specific use case. Mm -hmm. Oh, just one more thing. Yeah. So the, I, I, I introduced you Link, our AI ML modeling tool. We released it a community version, which is uh, free of charge uh, in May. So yeah, you're very welcome to try it out. You released it in May. It, and it, in May this year. Yes, OK. So but it, it's, it's not available. free of charge in May, because that would have been It will be free of charge in general. Forever, forever. OK, perfect. Thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. So having said that, we'll